We are looking at a big boy today, Patrick Vieira, 88 rated, medium high, six foot four, three star, three star, can only play centre mid. He has unbelievably good physicality stats, great defending, good agility, fantastic composure. Look at that short and long pass as well. Okay finishing and really good acceleration and sprint speed. Now we have got ourselves power header, and then we have bruiser, slide tackle, intercept, block plus. Then we also have Press Proven and Relentless, which means he does not run out of stamina at any point. We've gone for an anchor instead of a shadow, and let me explain why over on Footbin. So, an anchor, of course, boosts that physicality, defending, and pace up, whereas, uh, as, what's it called, sorry. Whereas a shadow only boosts up the defending and pace, but we want to keep him on lengthy. In my opinion, lengthy is the best one to have in midfield. You're going to be playing in a 4-2-3-1 system, sorry, with him as a CDM. His main job is just to shut down every single attack that happens. Because he's got a high average body type at 6'4", 192 centimetres, he's going to have a crazy long leg span, which means with interceptions being 96 and having the intercept play style on top, he is going to be absolutely ridiculous, as well as having block and bruiser. Press proven and relentless. Press proven means he can double team, no problem. Relentless means he never runs out of stamina. We're going to be doing this in Division Rivals today. And let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how good Patrick Vieira really is. So like I said, we are in Division Rivals playing 4-2-3-1. Vieira's job today is basically stop that attack at any means necessary. Really interested to see how he feels in game. If he is as good as he was last year. He is arguably one of the best defensive midfielders in the game because of how tall he is, how dominant he is in attacking in terms of defending, making tackles. You can see him on the ball here. He's absolutely massive. Now, he does feel a little bit clunky. Maybe not as bad as I first thought. But that's his job. You can see here is just to drive through. He's got those big strides as well. He's just going to cause so many problems, and his main job is to intercept any ball or anything that we give away. Now, I'm not really expecting him to score goals, of course. I'm really expecting him to pick the ball up here, hold off any sort of attack, turn, and then just sort of start the attack for us, as he has done perfectly there. And I think Griezmann may be offside. He's onside, and we get ourselves a goal. And that's essentially going to be his role, is stop the play, turn around, and cause the attack to go straight forward. As he's already there, makes that tackle. Was a foul in the end, which is a shame, but not a problem. The air on the ball here. He's going to wait for Kevin De Bruyne to move into the space. We find him. We can't. He does hold off. Rijkaard there. Does lose it a little bit. Not a problem. Again, using that strength. Pass out. Now we can move on the attack. Vieira coming over and instantly winning that ball back. Now we can drive. Gets that pass forward. And that's literally his job right there is to win that ball. Drive forward. And then essentially pass it off for the next attacker. That's how that system works. So he's here again. Got to pass that wide. Oh, it took too long myself there. It's a shame. Now, another bonus you have with Patrick Vieira is because he's got power header and how tall he is, he can definitely help you in the corner situation, especially with the glitch where people are whipping it to one of the defenders to stop. So let's see how we do here. Vieira has already swapped for us, and there is that glitch that I mentioned. Now, it switches for you automatically. There's not really much you can do, but I'd like to think if he's in the situation, he's going to stop it 9 out of 10 times. So let's see if we can do it again. Switch for us. He's going to score that this time. Good save from the keeper. Vieira coming over. Let's see his recovery speed. Again, he's passing around. Not problem. Vieira there. And there he goes. Wins that tackle. Turns straight away into a great pass into Griezmann. A poor pass from Griezmann. And we're back under pressure again. And again, Vieira picking up the loose pass out. Going to drive him forward just a little bit. Actually gotten clean through here by absolute accident. We've yellow timed it. And <laughs> I've kicked it wide. Should have been a goal there. Should even be there anyway, but we got a bit unlucky with my own poor finishing. Could have had a goal, just wasn't meant to be. Like I say, it's not really his job. This is his job here to shut down any attack down the wing. Still here, it's not a problem. Sticking with her, and then she's turned us. Not a problem. Still there. Again, Vieira intercepting, driving. Going to go for that power shot, and I've kicked it wide. So you can see there, shooting's not really up to par. Wasn't really expecting him to, but you can see how many interceptions he's made already in that midfield. And he's given us a really good attack down the other end. We just need to be a little bit more clinical in ourselves here to be able to get ourselves a winner or a, a lead anyway. So it's half time. We are 2-1 down. We are playing in the elite division. It doesn't really matter about the results so far. It's more about what Vieira does offer in midfield. And so far, he's made X amount of uh, interceptions. We'll have a look right now with him. So you can see if we go over to ourselves here. 
with Vieira. We can see here, you can see when we go to defending, he's had three out of four tackles, won three interceptions, and he's won five out of six defensive duels. That's literally his job. We should have maybe had a goal, but I choked it, unfortunately. But we have got a second half here to carry on, so let's see how we get on in the second half with him. Uh, Vieira on the ball, driving again with a big stride. Got a pass in to Mkhitaryan, an absolutely lovely ball. And we'll return the favour. Vieira! And there is a the goal from him as well. All stem from him. Managed to counter-attack, and he's actually buried that one out of all chances with the green time around the defender. A little swerve on it. And we've taken the lead. Kind of justice for what's happened to us in this game. He has been dominating that midfield with the interceptions, tackles, just as you expect. Not only that, if you hold down RB and R1 while you're dribbling, he's really quick on the dribble to give you the space. But the thing that's been most impressive with him is we expect his defending. It's his passing ability, how he opens up space. Our opponent's now made three substitutions because he's realised that this game's going to get away from him if he's not careful. He does drive through here. Vieira coming over. He has to keep passing it away. He's taking off Fella. And again, a great tackle from Vieira. Now starts his attack underway. It's a poor dribble from me. Been caught out on the counter. I've had to foul him here. But you can see that's what he's great at doing. Just winning those 50-50s. Stopping that attack from any angle. Got Vieira at the top. We do find him. Driven pass into Mkhitaryan. Lovely control. Back up to Ansu Fati. Bit of skill. Back to Vieira. Oh, nowhere to go. Can we keep that pressure on with him? No, we can against Rijkaard. Forced to pass back. He's got to switch it. Very, very unlucky there not to get some sort of shot on target. He's going to pass it across. And what a tackle there. Let's go. Counter attack. Got Vieira at the top here. I don't know why he's running, but he is. Lovely ball out wide. Back to Vieira if we can. Push Kevin De Bruyne forward. Whoa. Almost did a no-look pass straight through into Son then. I tried to camouflage it a little bit. Yeah, picks that loose ball up. That's very important tackle he's just made there to stop that attack. Again, he's there against Witzel. Vieira straight away into Ansu Fati. Little one-two. Got four or five runners here. And I'm absolutely blowing it. But we got away with it. Lovely ball down. Again, Vieira, interception. Does get fouled there, but it's not given. Not a problem. Last attack. Ah, oh, it's a great tackle. Looks like it's going to end 3 all, or maybe not. Vieira. Ah, oh, he's lost it. It's a shame. And that's going to be the game. 3 all. A very, very good game there. Just to show you my skill rating at the end, you can see that we have been playing an elite division. Fair, fair result, to be honest with you. We both had great opportunities. And what I will say about Vieira is he just gets that job done. He makes every single tackle so important. And he wins the midfield battles every single time. Let's go jump over to Footbin now. So, of course, he is absolutely expensive. And the reason why I wanted to review him is because there is rumours of a Max 89 icon SBC comes out. If you get Patrick Vieira, you've got yourself an end game midfielder. Yes, he got a goal for us. Really wouldn't expect him to score with the... Even though he's got 75 finishing and 83 shot power, that's not his job is to get goals. His job is to defend. We had an anchor on him because of the lengthy, and I do think that's best. Especially if you drag your players out, he's just going to be much quicker on recovery. What lengthy does, it means he gets quicker the longer he runs. So the longer he sprints, the faster and faster he becomes. So let's say you have a corner, your opponent counterattacks, and you run him with Vieira. He's going to overtake and tackle them. Now, this 96 interceptions... Mixed in with this uh, intercept play style, wherever it's gone here, is an absolutely deadly combination for a midfielder, especially as big as he is at six foot four and uh, how many 192 centimeters tall. Is he gets in the way of almost every single pass and shuts down every single attack from your opponent. So if you are playing against someone who loves to pass the ball around, he does an absolute fantastic job at shutting it down. Tackling is great. I think tackles are broken in the game, so it's one of those whether. They work one day, they work the other, or don't even. That just depends on, the, it doesn't really matter about the card, it's down to the gameplay. But overall, Patrick Vieira is the best center defensive mid in the game for the reasons I have said. If you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.